On the hunt for the person or persons brutalizing pelicans in the wild. Now, local experts are helping the injured birds recover. News Channel 5's Jeff Skrypek is live at the Riviera Beach Marina with our story tonight. Jeff? Well, Kelly, we just checked in with the wildlife rangers leading the investigation about 30 minutes ago. They tell us they, along with several other agencies right now, are searching up and down the coast of South Florida, trying to find all of these pelicans and capture them before it's too late. Casting his line into the dark of the night, sport fisherman Thomas Page never thought he'd reel in the news about what's happening to brown pelicans in South Florida. That's uh, that's cruel. So, how what are they cutting them with a knife or something? Sliced with two cuts from throat to beak, several pelicans were just discovered with their pouches slashed in the Florida Keys. One found dead, another being treated, and veterinarians suspect it was all done on purpose. It looked like someone intentionally opened up uh, uh, the mouth, stuck some type of a, a sharp knife in, and literally ripped it as, as far as they could. David Hitzig at Bush Wildlife Sanctuary is assisting those operating on the injured pelicans. He calls the act a death sentence for the bird. Experts say the pouch of a pelican is very thin, similar to a plastic grocery bag. When it's cut, they not only can't hunt, but they starve. If you look at something like this, it's like, why in the world would you want to do that? Is, you know, the pelican causing that much trouble to you? Hitzig says fishermen compete with pelicans for bait fish and says, in this case, frustrations could have spun out of control. Page says if it was done intentionally, there's no excuse. You, you can't kick them out of their home. You know, you can't just come up here and think it's yours. It's, it's theirs, you know. Now, brown pelicans are a protected species here in the state of Florida. Anyone caught doing that, slashing the middle of their throat, can face up to one year in federal prison along with $15,000 worth of fines per bird. Meanwhile, that pelican you saw in our story we just did will undergo surgery once it is healthy to do so. Reporting live tonight here in Riviera Beach, Jeff Skrypek, WPTV News Channel 5.